Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will answer one more, uh, a little bit complicated topic, but let us go and see how we can answer it very easy. This guy, he continued with his problems in this video. So I'm trying to, uh, to, to share with you what he say. So let us see what the problem he have this time. The doctrine of incarnation, the idea that God became a man. He cannot really, he cannot accept that. How God became a man. You know, uh, a Muslim, when he speak about his religion, I notice, generally speaking, especially those who stand on a stage, especially those who give them microphones and supposedly they want to teach others about their experience. I'm sure there's many Muslims who have a lot of knowledge in the, in the, the, the listening. Uh, they are saying to themselves, this guy is an idiot. But you know what? He is a convert and we are trying to use him in order to fool other people to convert to Islam too. So let him say whatever he wants to say. Because everything he said in the stage is against Islam. How? Now, he just said he cannot understand the incarnation of God. He cannot accept that. Many of you will say, well, Islam is absolutely is against that. I say no. This is false. God of Islam have physical body. God of Islam have a hand, have a foot, have a leg, have a face. You can watch, I have a debate with two scholars in the radio, uh, Dr. Nabil Bayikli and Imam Malik Sar from Tennessee. They are the head of the Islamic Center in Tennessee. And in the debate, all what they said to me, that yes, Allah have a physical body, but his body is not like yours. Well, thank you very much. I don't care if he's not my, like mine or not. He have a physical body. You can go and search it on the internet. So, he, your God have a physical body like mine or not, he have a physical body. So then, this is incarnation. So this idiot, I'm not calling him name by the way, I'm just uh, describing the, 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 the stage he is in. Uh, he don't know that the God of Islam, he is incarnation and he did not in go incarnate. He is. This is how he is. He have a physical body because incarnation mean what to be a physical being he think that his god is a spirit the god of islam is not a spirit <laughs> you see mo many of those abdus they have no idea who is their god all what they know that he is god and there's only one god and his name is allah but what else no idea now let us show the proofs of what we claim and what we say. Let us watch together. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 55, hadith number 649. The one is talking here, remember his name is Muhammad, the messenger of Islam. So I'm not the one saying that, Muslims, so don't accuse me to be a liar. If you do so, you are accusing your prophet. Your prophet voluntarily, when the people were talking about the Messiah at Dajjal, which means the false Messiah, he said, remember Muslims, he said, which means your prophet is the one who said, not me, that in front of people saying, Allah <coughs> is not one-eyed, while the Messiah at Dajjal is a blind in the right eye, and his eye looked like a blugging out a grave. So what we learn from this uh, story, which is mentioned by Muhammad, that Allah <coughs> is not one-eyed while the Messiah have a problem in the right eye. So the only difference between the look of Allah and the look of the false Messiah is the right eye. However, both of them, they have two eyes. However, both of them, they look the same as the Messiah because remember, the Al-Masih al-Dajjal, which means the false Messiah or the Antichrist for the Christians, he is coming to claim what? He is coming to claim to be the Messiah. So he is coming as a man in the shape or the look of the Messiah. However, you will notice that Muhammad, he compared between the false Messiah and Allah. Not between the false Messiah and the Messiah or the real Messiah, no. He compared between the false Messiah and Allah. And the purpose of this story here, Muhammad, he want the Muslims to learn how to find out or the, the differentiate between the real Allah 
and the false Allah. Many they think that this is about the false Messiah, but if you think about it, this is about the real Allah and the false Allah. Yes, it's about the false Messiah, which means Allah and the Messiah must be one. Maybe some of you did not understand yet. <clears throat> Let us say, I, I, I say to you, uh, someone come to you and he brought to you, uh, it, it's not good to use maybe money to compare, but just to make it simple. Somebody brought to you a false dollar. False dollar. So in order to explain to you the differentiation between them, first of all, both of them, they have to be dollar. Both of them, they have to do, have the same exact look. Both of them almost perfect to the point you might be confused. Otherwise, there is no need for you or for me to tell you how to find out which one is the real, real one. So Muhammad, he found that the difference between the real dollar and the false dollar is just the eye. So he say, the eye, the right eye of the false messiah is not the same of the right eye of Allah. Because the right eye of the false messiah, it's blocked out like a grape. I don't know what does that mean. So there's nothing else. The rest, the rest of the dollar bill is exactly the same. The false messiah is a perfect man and then we compare him to Allah and the only difference between the false messiah and the perfect Allah is just one eye and you are telling me you Muslim reject incarnation of God when everything about God for you is just a man or you Muslim do not read your books or you Muslim do not study your books and this is the, the, the fact you know Muslims are, 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 are a nation are driven like goats you know they are goats go to eat plastic eat papers eat anything even Muhammad he made them drink camel urine because he, he don't want them to think when Muhammad he said to a woman give your breast for a, an adult is that is that because Muslims Muhammad trained them to think or he's making fun of them. I believe Muhammad is making fun of those people. He enslaved them with his stupidity. So as you see, the only difference between the two dollar bills according to Muhammad, this is, let us say, this is the false, right? This is the false one. Hmm? And this is the real one. The only difference between two, according to Muhammad, is just the eye. So how you say to me, your God Allah is not a man? When your prophet, he speak about them, and he speak about Allah as a perfect man. Then we go to different hadith to make things more clear. <clears throat> In Sahih al-Bukhari, and for those who do not know what Sahih Bukhari means, Sahih Bukhari is the number two, the most accepted source as holy words after the Quran is Sahih Bukhari. Actually, 90% of the religion of Islam is in Sahih Bukhari, not in the Quran. And the rest is from the Quran. The book number 76, hadith number 577 in Sahih Bukhari, you will notice the following. And the one here is talking is Muhammad talking about what seeing Allah seeing what seeing Allah the Muslim they say to us nobody can see Allah however Muhammad he say you will see Allah and it's going to be very easy to see him and it's going to be very clear the same as you see the moon the same as you see the sun you see the sun in a clear day and you can read by yourself all right read it by yourself because I don't have much time really to read for you so seeing Allah, and he's talking about seeing Allah himself, not uh, metaphorical. Because they are asking, are we going to see Allah in the judgment day? He said, this is how you will see your God. This is how you will see him, your Lord, in the day of resurrection. Then <clears throat> Muhammad continues saying, Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and they will say. Just wait on. But hold, hold here. Allah will come to them, to the Muslims, 
in a shape. This Abdul, he just said, he cannot understand how God can be incarnation of, uh, of, uh, of, a, of a body. Well, isn't it, this is incarnation? And you will notice here what this hadith is saying, that there is two shapes. There is the first shape which they know, and there is a shape which they don't know. So Allah changed in his shape, he's playing hide and seek. So Allah, he have a shape which they know, and now he come to them in a shape which they don't know. And guess what? The Muslims will kick the ass of Allah and he will say to him, we seek refuge from thee to Allah. Which means they consider Allah as Satan. Why? Just because he changed the shape. And that means that Muslims, they don't really follow God as much as they follow the shape. Because when Allah, he changed his shape, Muslims, they consider him Satan, and they say to him, we seek refuge from, uh, with, with Allah from you. But he is Allah. We, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Speaking to who? To Allah. What the problem? The problem, Allah, he changed his shape. Then Allah will come to them in the shape which they know. The story continue. Then Allah will come to them in the shape which they know. And then they will say, Oh, 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 you are our Lord. <laughs> no doubt you are our Lord. So now the Muslims are sure that he is Allah because he changed in his carnation. The first incarnation, it was not right for them. They didn't like it. So Allah, he did not get the job. He was fired. They said to him, We seek refuge from thee against you to Allah. Why? Because they did not like the shape. Muslims are shape worshippers. Those are pagan people. Because they wanted God up to the design they want. If Allah, he changed the way he is, a Muslim will reject him. They will say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you. Then Allah, he come with different incarnation. And then suddenly, the Muslim, they say to, the, to Allah, yeah, you know what? You are our Lord. No doubt. You see it? No doubt. You are our Lord for sure. Yeah, yeah. We believe you now. Absolutely. No question. Why? Because simply, he just came with the shape they like. This is the shape they like. Then Allah will come to them, this is them, not them, in a shape they know. And they will say, and he will say, uh, I am your Lord. Then they will say, no doubt, you are our Lord. So, when a Muslim speak about how God can be a man, and we have tons of stories, not only from the Quran, by the way. I'm not showing from the Quran yet, because the Quran speak about Allah have hands. Have You can search on the internet and Google. You can find tons of verses speaking about the face of Allah, the hand of Allah, the eye of Allah, the lips of Allah, etc. And then Abdul, he will come to us. He cannot accept. He cannot believe. He cannot imagine that someone will say that God have incarnation. When your God is not only incarnation, he is the, he is the one of incarnation. He do, not, he do it for fun. Like if you ask yourself here, why Allah came into them in shape different from one which they know? What the purpose? Stupid purpose. Because as you see, Allah, he know they will refuse it. So why he came to them with that shape? Then Allah, he come back with the shape which they know and then they accept him. So what the purpose? Tell me. Allah playing hide and seek. Is that a Halloween day? Stupid stories. But you know what Muhammad, he presents to me always, the same as a fool man. The more he talk, the more you know how stupid he is. You see, you can dress a suit. You can put a tie. You can carry a Samsonite back in your hand. And you can put a nice glasses. And people will think you are a professor. As long as you don't talk. The second you talk, people will know really if you are or not. And this is exactly the story of Muhammad. The more he talk, the more we find that he is a false prophet fabricating stories. His story does not match with his rejection and his acceptance. Christ is Lord. Follow with me with more video. The one after that is going to be to be uh, like more clear about this story. Thank you very much.